the writing was on the wall. In this case, both sides of a real New York City subway car parked outside the trolley museum on the Kingston Strand. Something was burning deep in the souls of the eight world-renowned graffiti artists, armed with cans of spray paint and a desire to be the best. The event, the burning of Kingston 2 held Saturday, was a competition for bragging rights and an eye-opener for many who associate the cryptic art form with illegal activity. We're so far removed from the actual act of subway graffiti. In New York City, it was er eradicated by 1989. So we've got a lot of years where it's, we're in a safe place to discuss it, talk about it, and uh, it really is a fascinating process to see uh, people painting a, a train. We kind of have a, a group of professional guys out here doing what they do, and we're sort of celebrating the culture. But there are so many positive aspects to graffiti. I understand that it's still rooted in illegal behavior, but these guys have gone on to show at museums and galleries around the world. And so uh, we're so, sort of highlighting that today as the positive aspects of the culture. This marked the second year the live graffiti exhibition came to Kingston, an event coordinated by Trolley Museum board member Sasha Jenkins. The graffiti artists, broken into two teams of four, had to paint themes, Donald Trump on one side of the train and Deflategate on the other. And they had to competitively come up with a train that spoke to the theme, and that's what they're doing a pretty good job at right now. These guys are all world famous, extremely accomplished, talented, well-respected, and gifted artists, so everyone's a winner. Mainly the city of Kingston and the Trolley Museum. Hopefully people can come and check it out. And there were plenty of admirers on hand to further open eyes about the expressive medium. The earliest forms of communication were graffiti, which was, you know, hieroglyphics. That's graffiti. It's exactly the same thing. But for some reason, people separate those things because of the people it's attached to. The people in the movement had so much violence and negativity attached to it. So whenever you hear that word, you automatically shift it to the right when its roots, its original roots, weren't negative at all. And that's why things like this are important. So people who only think it's people sneaking around with hoodies, you know, writing on your grandma's house or whatever, it's, it's completely different.